KDP allows publishing books that are in the public domain and thus anyone can make money out of it. And many people are going after that. Yes, anyone can republish Shakespeare. Although discussing the ethics and moral of doing that is another subject altogether. In this video, we are not going to see a list of resources to get your public domain book. A simple Google search can give us a plenty of resources to find public domain books. However, we will go over some best practices to ensure it's going to be a win-win situation for everyone concerned. Yourself, justice to the original work and of course the readers for buying the work from you. It may be easy to publish a work that's not ours, but this also needs a lot of prudence from our part. For example, we must ensure the following. Number one, that these are the books that are out of copyright, either because the author expired and a specific number of years have passed or they are all intentionally released as public domain. Which of course uh, goes unsaid that it's with us to validate and evaluate the public domain content before we publish them. When evaluating whether the book is in public domain or not, consider the author's lifespan, especially the date of death to calculate if 70 years have passed. Most countries that's 70 years but could vary for every country. Thus we must ensure that the book is really in the public domain and there are no copyright problems or claims associated with it. Number 2. That the work is not available elsewhere freely for download, Amazon included. Number 3. If you are fortunate enough to live near a library, go and look out for any old books that could possibly be in the public domain. You could start from here rather than picking up a book that has already been converted into an electronic format. Chances are that many others would be already working on the same work as you. So the best bet is to pick a book that is yet to be digitalized. Number 4. That the book you want to publish is not a direct ripoff but you have added your own content in terms of illustrations or annotations or translations to it. Since many public domain books are freely available online, it takes a lot of work to make it unique so people could buy it from you. Key changes that we can do is to create a new books cover instead of using the old one. Also simply just don't copy paste the text content, instead carefully review each and every word to ensure that there are no mistakes in your republished work. This so happens especially when using OCR, the optical character recognition software, to scan and read digital content. Better manually review before publishing it. Number 5. Another key difference you could show is to translate the work in your native language. Additionally, create a glossary of all the unusual or difficult to pronounce words from the book with meanings that regular readers like you and me can understand. Especially with older books, people would love to know the historical background, contextual examples, illustrative images, comparing with contemporaries to make one understand the complex relationships between countries or nations back then. To conclude, and to just reiterate and remind, while choosing a public domain book, we must ensure that the same book is not available for free either within Amazon Kindle store or anywhere else on the internet. If yes, then you must make it different by adding some extra valuable information to the book before publishing it again on the Kindle store. After all, you are trying to make money out of it, so one must put an effort into reselling public domain books if we intend to earn money out of it. Thanks for watching.